Um, today we're going to look at something <clears throat> that I think will be interesting, but it's not really a fountain pen thing. So I was sent these two little notebooks uh, by my friends at knivesandtools.com. Um, one is the Write in the Rain, the other is a Mode Stone notebook. Both of these are outdoor uh, notepads. Now, they are outdoor, they're made for outdoor stuff, so I'll talk a little bit about that. Knives and Tools is a company that does, as it says, knives, tools, uh, outdoor stuff, etc. But both of these papers, just to be sure, were not really designed to be written over the fountain pen. So if you're a hardcore fountain pen user, you don't want to use anything else, then, then this is not necessarily for you. Uh, but I think this is this is an interesting paper to, to talk about. So of course I'm going to test it, I'm going to show you off some stuff, but uh, just a little bit of background. The, the Right in the Rain was designed to be waterproof paper, so you can even write on it when it's wet. If it does get wet, your, your writings should not smudge. Uh, but as I said, it, it actually comes with a specific little warning here that says won't work uh, with water-based inks uh, because they will bead off the sheet uh, and that includes fountain pens. So this is really something if you want to go to the outdoors uh, you want to use it, you want something that you can use in the rain, you can use under uh, difficult circumstances, uh, but this is not an office notepad, so don't don't confuse it for that. The mode stone is, <clears throat> in a way, it serves a similar purpose, which is write under difficult circumstances, write in a way that makes your writing uh, waterproof, etc. But uh, because of the, 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 the way they made this quote-unquote paper, um, they don't call it stone paper for nothing, uh, there have been some warnings from people online who say don't use this with fountain pens because it, it can damage your nibs or grind your nibs. Now, I, I have in the past used this paper with a fountain pen, I didn't really notice the difference, but for extended writing, it's probably a wise idea not not to use this paper. It's just not designed with fountain pens in mind. So, both of these notepads, uh, ballpoints and pencils um, and you can do some interesting stuff with it especially with this paper which I'll show off which you can even write on if you don't even have a pen at hand so that's interesting too as I said waterproof so interesting outdoor stuff put this in your bag go into the woods etc but not really for the office okay I think that kind of covers it so why, why would you want to use this well if you do live in, and I mean, right now I live in an area where we had a lot of snow recently. Should I be outside? Should I have to write something down? That would be a useful thing. Of course, uh, stuff like hiking, uh, camping, etc. come to mind, where you, you, you may have to write yourself a quick note and, and you're in the rain or you're out, out and about. Um, so I do think there's a lot of functions for this paper. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just not something that, that I would use with, uh, with your 800 euro uh, fountain pen, so to speak. Having said that, Nothing wrong with that. Let's look at some writing. Let's see how these uh, products perform. Okay, so here we go with this first, the, the Write in the Rain notebook. Um, so this is obviously not my handwriting. Aziza has been having some fun with this. And as you can see, um, the, 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 the wetter inks, in a, this is all ballpoint, but the, the wetter inks uh, smudge a bit more easily than um, uh, the drier ink, so maybe for this type of paper stick to the, the slightly drier inks. Uh, Sharpie, a pencil, um, some erasing of the pencil. Um, so you can see that several pen types seem to work pretty well, even a Sharpie, there's no real bleed through, so you can't really see it on this page, which is actually quite nice, I think. So I thought we would just do a little bit of writing ourselves here. Um, It is an interesting uh, sensation of, of feedback on this paper. It, it feels, I don't know, coarse is not really the right word, but it, it you do feel something as you write on it. It's it's not super smooth, but I, I'm, I'm expecting that has uh, uh, something to do with the uh, with with the coating that um, uh, is is used uh, on on the paper. Um, now. Uh, some some things I, I just uh, quickly uh, wrote down so it's, it's supposed to not not tear too easily as I said it's waterproof uh, it has that uh, that that coating it can also be recycled um, and it's uh, it has it's it has 50 pages uh, of, of paper um, 
and it retails at knives and tools for 895 euros so it's, it's not a super expensive pad I would say um, so we have our, our, our ballpoint stuff here as you can see you can make it smudge a little bit um, of course you can use other ballpoints it, 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 it doesn't really matter um, so there's all that stuff and you can see you can make it smudge a bit now something that I was really interested in actually uh, was the, 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 the matter of the, the, the rain right because if it's, if it's right in the rain give me as I'm putting a towel down uh, but I'm, I was kind of wondering how that works out so I'm just going to write in the back side of this not paying any attention to handwriting and then let us create a little bit of rain as you can see what's interesting is that the the, the water just beads on top of it and there is no real uh, uh, smudging of the ink now another thing that I was wondering about is can you actually write on it as it is wet so I'll try to that's gonna be tricky but you see I'm writing on it as it's completely submerged. So in a way I think that's that's actually very interesting and definitely something that's interesting to try out for people who um, uh, want to use this in an outdoor setting or who want to uh, uh, write under harsher uh, circumstances. Just drying that a little bit and as you can see even as it has dried up the writing does not smudge. Now, of course this is not a water-based ink, right? it's not a fountain pen but even so, I think that is really quite a nice uh, performance. Let's move on to that uh, mold stone paper. So this is uh, 1095 euros, 80% um, of calcium carbon and 20% of uh, high density polyethylene. Uh, should be tear and water resistant. And this only has 30 pages, so a couple less pages. This I'll come back to in a second. I like the grid. It's a, it's a nice simple grid uh, and this paper is very very smooth it really feels super smooth you can see same thing um, the, 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 the wetter inks uh, tend to smudge a little bit drier inks uh, seem to do uh, pretty well um, Sharpie even works well and again pretty much no bleed through a little bit of show through here you can sort of see your writing on the other page uh, but you do not uh, actually have it bleed through into uh, blobs and it's it's not that and that's not ugly so you can actually write on both sides even with a, a quite a wet uh, writing instrument and um, pencil works doesn't erase very easily but it, it it does work so let's have a look at this just turning this around um, very very smooth sorry putting a pen on the way um, very smooth writing uh, very interesting, very different feel from the right in the rain. Um, if you thought my handwriting was bad with fountain pens, it's way worse with ballpoints. I, I don't know why, but it just is. But it's it's very interesting because, as I said, it's it's a, it's a very smooth experience. So it 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 the, the, it's, it actually is it, the, the writing is is quite comfortable on this. So if I just use another uh, ballpoint, uh, you can see. A, that too writes nicely but it's a bit wetter and you do see more of a, a smudge there. Now I wanted to try out um, that, that rain demonstration again too just to see how this paper fares in circumstances of, of wetness. Um, let's use this pen again so we have some writing and I'm going to put some water onto that. And the writing definitely does not smudge, which also makes me wonder once again. Um, I can write on it as it is completely wet. Now, one final thing that is interesting about this paper this paper, not the right in the rain, but this stone paper, is that should you suddenly not have access to a pen or a pencil, uh, you can still use it. So we have brass and copper pens here. 
and as you can see you can actually use the metal to use this and uh, to write on it uh, without an actual pen but with just the metal. Now another thing you can do uh, if you don't even have a pen with you but you, uh, you would happen to have something like this uh, it's just a knife. I'm using the, uh, the, the, the brass part there. You can write on it as well. This is not very legible. It is not as legible as these things are. That may be because the, the, the edge there was not as sharp. I'm using the, the sharper edge of this side. So even with your knife, provided it has the proper type of metal on it, because not everything works, That barely does anything, for example, um, but brass, copper seem to work well. <clears throat> you can use and you get writing that's almost like a pencil, and it doesn't really smudge. So I do think these notebooks have some interesting options, uh, especially uh, for the outdoor lovers amongst us. Sorry for hitting the camera there. And you can think of all sorts of applications, um, birding, uh, people who like bird watching, who like to take notes of what they're seeing. Uh, you can do that in all sorts of weather circumstances, of course. Uh, plant lovers who like to go out and, and um, uh, draw the plants they see, etc. Uh, that works well. As I said, hiking, uh, taking notes on navigation, etc. So I do think these are very valuable tools uh, that you can use. Uh, for the fountain pen lovers amongst us, probably not as interesting. But, I mean, let's face it, sometimes you it's almost impossible to avoid using a ballpoint. And, who would write with a fountain pen in the rain anyway? So very nice outdoor paper. Uh, there's some uh, some some definite uh, um, applications for these uh, notebooks, I would say. And uh, that's it. So a kind thank you to Knives and Tools for sending me this. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.